Hello guys, I'm Matthias, or better known as K Tura from the Viborg Viper Cinema section. Me and ADX have uh, released a couple of clips lately, and uh, a question that pops up quite a lot is the quality. And uh, I thought I, I was going to show you how we do it. Now there's basically two ways to record your footage. You can either use fraps, like I'm going to show you this time, and you can use AVI, AVI demo. Both work perfectly fine, I just find fraps quicker. Um, now, fraps is quite dependent on what computer you have, so I got a quite bad computer, so I use 10 FPS. Now, uh, you can use uh, 25 or 30 or more if you have a better computer but I find that 10 FPS is the best for me I get the smoothest quality there's no jittering or FPS drops when I use 10 um, what you do when you use fraps is that you capture uh, the footage in uh, in slow-mo and then when you go into virtual dub, which I will show you soon, is that you you speed you speed up the clip, so it may look really slow when you're done in fraps, but after virtual dub and when you start editing the clip, it's going to look good. Um, I'll just show you my config quick for before we jump into virtual dub. As you can see, I have three binds here. The top two toggles the AVI demo, and this third one is what I use for for fraps. Now, you can see I have a quite low time scale since I want the 200 FPS footage, um, and I only have the maximum capability. To run it at 10 FPS, I have to have a really low time scale. As you can see, ADX runs a bit higher and at 30 FPS, and this gives him 480 FPS in VW instead of my 200. So, if you get a better computer, sure, go for his settings instead. Now, in virtual dub, I'll just import my Eclipse. As you can see, I can't choose multiple files. But what I do is just append. Now, I already have my settings done, so I just load them. And as you can see in the frame rate, this is what you should change. If you use ADX settings, you change it to 408 instead. And if you use AVI demo, then put the number. If you used AVI demo 120, put 120 in here. After that, you can go to compression. I use Lagarith because it works flawless for me. And it also compresses the file without making it look ugly. After that, just save some AVI. I've already saved it in my tutorial. And I just abort. Uh, after that, we can basically just jump into Vegas. So I've loaded up Sony Vegas and I imported the footage we just rendered from uh, Virtual Dub. The project properties are as you can see 1280 by 720, 50 FPS. Uh, there might be different fields here in an other version, but since you can see I used the 7.0 version, I can't really say what you should put in these fields. Uh, as you can see, I've recorded in 1280 by 720, so I won't require any cropping, but if you use, for example, 1280 by 1024, then you 
we'll use the 69 cropping. So when you're done with your rendering, oh, sorry, editing, you just go to render as. You can choose either an AVI or a VMV. Uh, I don't really like VMV because I don't know if it's the Sony Vegas version or some codecs that's giving me problems, but I can't really get the same quality as ADX does. So I just use AVI and then I encode it in uh, that unpronounceable program called BigY or something. Um, in the template, there's just more or less a copy of the properties. Um, I don't include any sound because I render that separately. Uh, and if you want to use VMV OTEC, I think his name is OTEC. I can't, I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Made a great guide on. Uh, on his settings here. So I'll include this link in the tutorial uh, description so you can have a look yourself. He's also included a couple of config, uh, not binds, but settings. So if you don't have these, just add them. When you're done, just save it. And since you don't want to watch me rendering this, I will cut the video and I will return to you shortly. So I've finished the AVI rendering in Vegas. I also rendered out a small sound clip and I'll show you how to combine the audio and the video later. I've also opened the unpronounceable program. And what we want to do first is create an AVI synth script. So we go into Tools, AVS Script Creator, and then Video Input. We choose our AVI we just rendered. Here we choose Direct Show Source. And we save the script. And we close this. We have our video output and our en encoder settings. I use 1P good quality. It uses automated 2 pass. It's a bitrate of 8500. And, uh, and to fix that YouTube bug, you make sure you have checked in the advanced settings. Then you go to frame type, number of B frames, and set it to zero, and uh, and it will fix that YouTube bug where you have a, a gray screen in the beginning. It will make the file a little bit bigger, but I think that's a small price to pay. When you're done, you just thank you. Then you go to the queue and you start start the encoding. And when I'm done with it, I'll get back to you. Okay, so the encoding is done. And now I'm going to show you how to combine the encoded video with the, the audio. So I'm into Tools, Muxer. And before Muxer and video input the mp4 file we just encoded and in the audio yes you should audio and then we queue it and then we start it and this will go really fast and that's it when you done there you will have the same smooth quality as me and ADX.
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. It was the first time for me doing one. So I, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope it have taught someone how we achieve our quality. If you liked it, please uh, feel free to subscribe our channels. Uh, we thank you for all the support and uh, if you want us to make more guides please just let us know and we'll see to it thanks bye